now i will discuss about the request this is one of the main fundamental concepts in laravel a request and response there are actually two things so these are the fundamental concepts that are related to handling the http request and generating the http response in laravel a request as i am going to discuss with request now so what is request a request actually represents an incoming http request made to your laravel application it contains information for example the request method that is a get request method post request method also the url request header request parameters and many other things laravel provides a convenient way to access and work with the request data through the illuminate http request you see that here in the route this one but when i go to create a controller for example i am going to show you uh, with an example so that you can understand so i am going to create a controller now okay so here php artisan make then controller and here is a student controller for example you see that a student controller file here comes and if you check this student controller class you will see that here in the top there are two lines one is use illuminate http request so using this request we actually handle the request data if i want to call here function for example public function index for example i want to get some data from a database then what will happen i will just pull the data from the database using the get method so in or if i want to request something using the get method for example like this here you see this is a function but i am going to remove this i am going to call a class a controller here so here use app http then i am going to call controllers then student controller okay and here i will call that that is a student controller and then class and the second parameter will be like index so this is actually the get request two types of request are here one is get request actually what is done with the get request the request here i call get that means in the url i will hit by this it can be about or here is root but if i want to call another one for example uh, you want to create here another request that that is another get request and the method will be just about here so methods will be changed but all these requests you are going to give here is the get request so that request will come here and you can do anything for example i am going to show my name so this one that means when i will i am going to just remove this that means using this get request i just show the output this one in the screen right so this one and there is another one that is actually called the post request i am going to show you an example of the post request the post request actually comes using a form i have no views here i am going to create a view now here for example that is home.blade.php and this is actually uh, sorry this is for example for example this is a html code and here i will just create a form like this and i am going to the bottom and here csrf this csrf actually is used in laravel uh, just after opening the form in order to prevent the csrf attack just uh, this is for this not uh, anything hard you will understand it very easily for example i have an input form that is a text form and here i am going to pass the username like this and here i am going to give level and this is username okay so br is here and after this another br and after that i am going to submit a form that is submit 
so this is a very easy thing that is a normal form in laravel i will discuss about the form letter of course and i will show you some practical examples but just to make you understand about the post request i am doing this so if i call the home that means in the index or oh, here is the index in here i will just return a view right so return view and here i call the home if i now want to run this you see that username this form and submit so if a person click on this submit button what will happen the action will be taken here and here i will call the route or if you want you can also call the url whatever you want you can do that so here i am going to call the store the route name route i will define here store but where it will go it as i am going to submit the form i will take the request using the post request not get using the post route post and here i am just going to give any name here that is a store and in the controller there will be another function that is a store and the request will come in the store and using the post and here in order to receive the data that i am i will call here like this public function store but as this is a post request i will call a request class and a variable or object of that request class that is request so i will use the request class has many methods building methods i will use that type of things for example the request object and the building functions for example on is input the parameter will be uh, what the parameter will be actually the one that comes from here that is username so here in the input i will tell the username if i show the output here what you will see the username in the post request now i am going to show you this so that you can understand uh, sorry here the store is not defined where the route name here it is actually the route name i called here this is the name route you already know how to define the name route that is here in the store and here i will give it a name that is a store so it's okay now i am going to refresh now i am going to give here the username arifin for example then click on submit when i click on submit it comes here but remember that it is actually a post request and output is here so what i actually wanted to show you that is when the um, a form is submitted then the post request you see that this is a post request so here in the object here uh, the request object is actually injected right so here in the store method of this controller i just inject the request object and you can access the request data using various methods uh, provided by the request class so here in this request class i created this object and i call various methods one is input using this input i just retrieve the value of the name parameter where is the name parameter that means in this name in this name parameter there is a variable username and i am going to retrieve it using the input method here so i hope you have understood the basic of the request when a user actually call for something from his uh, browser uh, when he will uh, he will hit any request for example here by default he, he is going to hit the get request so he wants to uh, show something here for like uh, for example this is a form so he just put the get request here and the form is returned and when a user will do something again in this page and click on submit that means the user is hitting for another request and that is a post request so in this way the requests are handled in laravel